Hello, I am Fantastic and Fantastic, and today I'm going to be doing 100 rolls in the brand new Pal Egg Machine event. So the previous week saw us having wonderful like kings, super kings, and the chance at snow globes, whereas this week is the regular evolution materials and the chance at large evolution gems. So I feel that this is going to be probably the least beneficial event to actually roll in, but for the sake of science, I'm going to be doing my 99 rolls in here and just seeing what actually pops out. So I'm going to be kind of trying to keep track of how many large evolution gems I actually acquire. So I want to get diamond eggs here. Now, if you're not in danger of capping out, which should be the majority of the player base, I would not- Oh, it's a gem! I would not actually roll in this event just because, well, evolution materials for the most part, they're all these dinky little ones which you can get for very little stamina by comparison. And in all honesty, the pluses and the tomatoes that are coming up in the subsequent weeks are much higher value overall, in my opinion. But of course, individual needs may fluctuate and vary. So I've gotten one big gem so far out of 20 rolls, like, this doesn't feel that impressive, but hey. We'll see how it goes. So I want to see lots of diamonds come out. That's one. There's a chance. Nope. That is unfortunate. We'll keep trying. All right. And, oh, it's two. So we've gotten two thus far. So getting these big evolution gems does save stamina in the sense that you don't have to play that descent, level them up, evolve them. So it can, I guess, provide a little bit of boost to your overall progression potentially if you're a newer account. Again, all these pallet machines obviously val um, heavily favor newer accounts because they're less likely to be able to acquire the rarer materials or have less stamina to actually play around with. So we've gotten two thus far. Let's see if we go up higher. Three now, wonderful. I think blue, purple, and yellow so far. But, it, <coughs> but again, if you are able to farm the higher descends or the harder dungeons, you can technically acquire a lot of those large evolution gems dropping evolved. I just basically aced all of Wednesday, no, Thursday dungeon getting all three of the big fruits, which is interesting. Okay, still only three at the moment. Okay, let's see how this goes. Something happy. Nope, still three. So I feel like maybe it's a similar chance to the snow globe. Snow globe is about 5% chance. I feel like this will be something similar. I rolled 99, I realized not 100. There we go, four for 100. So I feel like it's a similar odds of acquiring these rare stuff, so maybe we can extrapolate that possibly in thinking the King Tomadras is a 5% chance approximately. But regardless, maybe this video provides you a little bit of inspiration of what you can expect from this machine. In all honesty, I would avoid it. I only roll because I generate so many PAL points on a regular basis, so I would not do this if I was an average individual. So, hopefully you'll have a fantastic day. I wish you all the best of luck in your own pad adventures, and happy puzzling.